Okay, uh, in this PHP security tutorial, uh, I'm going to briefly talk about SQL injection. Um, I've just uh, quickly set up a sort of check password page here. Um, obviously, this isn't the best way to set up a login system, but I just did it uh, quickly for the sort of purposes of this tutorial. Just close that file. Um, basically, what this page does is it connects to the database, it checks if the form has been submitted. If it has, it does a query to get the number of rows where the username uh, and password combination supplied is in the table. Um, and then it gets that number. And then a bit further down in the HTML section, um, if that number has been set, i.e. if the form has been submitted, if the query has been performed, uh, it checks if this number is zero, and then it tells you you've entered an incorrect password. And if the number is not zero, it tells you access granted. It doesn't actually do any login type stuff, it just tells you that the password is correct. Um, the database we're using is this one that I've got open here, um, just called the user system. I'll be using this in another tutorial that's coming up, so just sort of using the same database. Um, what we store in this table is the user ID, just you know, standard primary key auto incrementing, the user name. Uh, and the user password, which is a SHA1 hash of whatever they enter. Okay, so uh, firstly, let's demonstrate SQL injection. Um, if I let's actually let's just demonstrate the actual system. Just loading the page, we get a blank page with the form on it. Uh, if I try and log in with it, like the admin user, and I can't remember what I set the password to, but if I leave the password blank and hit enter, you see we get um, the fact that the password is incorrect. But if I were to log in with the user admin or one equals one, like so, enter, you see we get access granted without actually having to supply the password for the admin user. The reason this works is because when you try to log in, PHP basically takes the value that you enter into this form, like here we've got admin, and places it in this part of the query. So we had admin there. I didn't enter a password. So MySQL does this, uh, does this query, which if you just if you see if I just run this sort of raw query in MySQL, in PHP MyAdmin even, uh, you see we get um, zero rows because the password combination was incorrect. But with this sort of special input, if you like, um, well, see, let's just see when you if you use that. Uh, See that was the user variable, when which comes directly from the post variable. So the user is able to set the value of this, and if they set it to that string that I entered a moment ago, uh, and enters no password, the query becomes this. So we're counting the number of rows where the username is admin or where one is equal to one, which is always going to be true. So if I run this query now. Uh, like so, you see we get one um, because, well, that's just how it works. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're, ab we're able to get um, a value from the database, which is not exactly incorrect because this is the query, it's, it's not returning a wrong value for this. Um, it is just, um, yeah, it's, it's basically you're, you're able to Get an ac get access to the day get access to the system without um, having the username and, pa username and password. So yes, um, the way we prevent against this is by using a PHP function uh, that escapes these back uh, single quotes. For example, you can do it yourself by uh, placing backslashes before them. So if I now run this with uh, the same query. Uh, SQL. You see, we get zero rows because these, when you escape them, it removes their meaning as a MySQL um, syntax. So if I just put those back to variables. Um, okay, so the way we protect against SQL injection is as follows: um, for a string like the username or the password, um, we use the MySQL real escape string function. Uh, basically what that function does is it escapes all characters in that input that have meaning in MySQL. 
Um, if you go on the php.net uh, page for it, there is a list of characters that it will escape. Um, single quotes is one of them, double quotes as well, uh, new lines, line breaks, um, null bytes I believe, like a few things. Anyway, uh, so now, well, let's just try it out. Oh, uh, just qu quickly say, you don't need to escape um, the password, like in this case, because it's converted to an SHA1 hash, which is always just a string of numbers and letters. So whatever they enter in the password block box will be converted to this hash, which can never have um, a character in it that has meaning in MySQL. The same goes for MD5 and some others. Uh, so yeah, that's why we're not applying this function to the password in this case. So um, yeah, so that's save that file. Go back to our uh, web page. If I just click log in again, you see we get incorrect password. The query hasn't been executed. Well, it has been executed, but it has returned zero, meaning that uh, the um, access granted uh, message has not been shown. So yeah, that is SQL injection and how to prevent prevent it uh, causing issues for your site uh, for strings. Um, for numbers, like say we had the same query, but uh, it was based on the user ID, user ID, uh, and we were supplying the user ID here. So I'll just create this new variable, user ID, and we weren't talking about the password at all for some reason. Oh no, no, yeah, let's leave the password. Uh, obviously, for a, an uh, integer, you wouldn't quote the value. So the um, Mr. Bad Hacker Attacker person could still perform SQL injection, even if you had applied MySQL real escape string uh, to this user ID variable. Um, like for for example, if they gave the user ID as it's like seven or one equals one none of those characters would be escaped by uh, MySQL real escape string but say if you posted pasted this query this um, section this value here you can still see that it still has the same meaning It's checking where the user ID is 7 or 1 equals 1 which is always true so um, that's why that is still a problem because these characters would still be allowed through if you like <coughs> um, the way we protect ourselves against SQL injection from integer values like this is to cast type, use, type, use PHP's type casting um, to convert this to um, an integer to make sure it's only integer. Like say if you had the string integer values, I should have said sorry, uh, a string like so, user ID equals this, uh, and you cast that to an integer by doing well okay let's just actually let's uh, simulate that it comes from a form like so and then say if you were to set user ID equal to post user ID um, this would be open to SQL, SQL injection as I've just explained but if you were to use typecasting that's how you do that um, this is the type in brackets before the before the whatever it is you're doing it to. Um, so in this case, we're typecasting to an integer. Um, if you were then to output this variable, all you would see is seven, because it PHP will drop um, any non-numeric character, anything that follows the first non-numeric character, which in this case is a space. So I can demonstrate that just by doing echo user ID like so. Um, and sh it should be now that if I just submit the form, you see we just get seven. We don't get this full output. If I remove this and do the same thing again, you see we get seven or one equals one. So that's how we protect ourselves from SQL injection in integer columns. Um, and that covers pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about in this video. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so thanks for watching, and hopefully you'll be able to write some secure code. Oh, no, there is one more thing I should mention, sorry. Um, magic quotes. Um, basically, when F PHP was like version 4, they introduced this thing called magic quotes. Um, basically, what that did is it automatically applies the add slashes function, which is sort of similar to MySQL real escape string.
but with one difference is that add slashes was written by the PHP developer people um, to be generic so that it would work with all database extensions because you can obviously use PHP with MS SQL um, and a few others um, actually loads of others um, okay so it doesn't there are still some cases where it will leave characters unescaped um, and obviously it doesn't protect against integer it doesn't protect integer columns as I just mentioned um, so what you need to do is basically you need to say if you have magic quotes on um, your value of post user would be add slashes post user so if you have magic quotes on you need to strip you need to use the strip slashes strip slashes function like so um, on you wouldn't you wouldn't add slashes yourself PHP does this sort of hidden to you so the only code you would use is that and then you need to apply mysql real escape string function to this full result um, obviously this is only if you can't turn magic quotes off if you uh, if you are able you should definitely disable it because it's ridiculous frankly it causes so many problems uh, and yeah it makes you have to call strip slashes all over the place um, one way around it would be to define a function which also is quite a nice thing to do because you can shorten the mysql real escape string function um, that function would, could be something like this input uh, and then we're going to use the get magic quotes gpc function which just returns one or zero if magic quotes is on or not so we just do it we just do if uh, get magic quotes gpc input equals strip slashes input oh dear slashes strip slashes yeah like that and then we just return turn mysql real escape escape nice dear string no right string <laughs> sorry for my typing again in put so that if you then you can use that function in place of the mysql real escape string function which has the sort of in a way the largest advantage of being a lot shorter and also it will be sort of cross-platform magic and also be cross-platform compatible um, well we can test this out uh, I can change this back to user put the quotes back around it go back to our page just hit reload resend the data call to find function I've spelled mysql wrong no I spelled real wrong very good string good <laughs> Okay, if I reload the page again, you see we get incorrect password. If I do the SQL injection we tried before, we're still getting correct password. So by defining this function, I mean you can define this in one of your sort of back end files somewhere. Uh so you don't have to keep typing this full thing out. And also say if you copy your script or you load your script to a new server, or you're writing a script that you want to give out to other people, um they might have magic quotes turned on and not know about how to turn it off or why they should turn it off. So it's sort of a not really a nice thing to do because you don't want to be doing all these necessary checks but it's sort of something you have to do uh, if you want to write code that will be absolutely secure everywhere oh one thing I sh also should say is that double escaping opens up SQL injection so say if you have you haven't done this check and you apply My mysql real escape string um, to a string that already has been escaped by uh, magic quotes add slashes um, you do, you get double escaping. So, like, say if someone entered, well, say if they just had a quote, say if the string that they entered was um, Bob, ah. say if the string they entered was Bob or one equals one, um, you would get double escaping, like so. I think. Oh no, maybe it'd be four. But anyway, it can open up. Um, SQL injection possibilities so that is something you need to be very careful of okay so I'm running out of time I'm still gonna I still promise I'll make a short video so at some point uh, so thanks for watching and hopefully this will help you write more secure code SQL queries okay thanks